Want to find out what DLC we could see in the Final Fantasy VII Remake? Subscribe to the channel and ring that notification bell to join the ranks of Soldier today. Stay tuned, soldiers. It's time for our next mission. What's up everyone, I'm Soldier First Class, and today's mission, we're going to talk about the Final Fantasy VII Remake, specifically about downloadable content. We already talked about Save Eris DLC in a previous video, so I'll link that in the description below so you can check that out later. So what downloadable content could we see in FF7 Remake? There's one that I absolutely need for them to create, the Wutai War DLC. Sephiroth and his time in the ranks of Soldier is legendary but completely shrouded in mystery. Any who opposed him didn't survive. So what happened? We know Shinra won the war, but other than seeing Zack and Angel's part in the war, we never saw Sephiroth's side of things and how it affected him. Expanding on his story is one of the most sought after pieces of information and would make for an insanely popular DLC that would have fans drooling. Imagine playing as the one winged angel, his music playing in the background as you cut through Wutai warriors on the battlefield. I believe this downloadable content would rake in millions for the company and would be a way to expand on the Wutai backstory as well. Another possibility is Zack Fair DLC. He's one of the most popular characters in the franchise, and such an important part to the story. Not making him downloadable content, or even part of the base game in a playable form, would be an absolute travesty. He could even be included in the Wutai War DLC, as he was also an important figure. While Crisis Core is no longer considered to be canon by the developers, the events that take place in it are the Wutai War, the Nibelheim Reactor Incident, saving Cloud and dying to protect him. These are all canon, as they were either mentioned or shown in the original game. Adding him as playable DLC would appease fans of Crisis Core, that still want to play as one of their favorite characters. One final piece of downloadable content that I'd love to see, the Calamity from the Sky, better known as the Arrival of Genova DLC. 2,000 years before the events of the original game, Genova arrives on a meteorite that creates the North Crater, infects the Cetra race with a virus that all but eliminates them, and is sealed away in the crater she created. But how did these events all unfold? We never actually get to see the events, only a telling of it from Eris's mother, Ifalna. DLC expanding on this event through the eyes of an unknown Cetra warrior would be an awesome way to show the true terror and power that Genova has by showing showing the fear that she creates. If Square Enix and Tetsuya Nomura handle this properly, these three DLCs could be millions of dollars in revenue for the company. I don't want downloadable content that feels like it should have been included in the base game, much like we got with Final Fantasy XV. Instead, I want the DLC to complement the final product. If Square Enix follows this business model, I have no doubt that the Final Fantasy VII Remake will be a critical and commercial success. Thanks for joining me on today's mission, and don't forget to omni slash that like button. Let me know in the comments section below what you'd like to see as future downloadable content for the game. Subscribe to the channel, and ring that notification bell to join the ranks of Soldier today. For all the latest Final Fantasy VII Remake news updates, rumors, and trailers, I'm Soldier First Class, and I'm on to the next mission. Later, guys.